Hello, fellow Nigerians in Edmonton. My name is KC Madu, your brother. Um, I have the greatest honor, as many of you know, of serving our province as the former Deputy Premier and Attorney General. But I'm here today for a different reason, uh, for the good of the Nigerians in Edmonton and the surroundings. I have the greatest honor to invite the leaders of our various ethno-cultural communities in Edmonton to attend the Nigerian Leadership Congress being organized and facilitated by the Nigerian Canadian Association in Edmonton and the Nigerian Leadership Cycle. Brothers and sisters, as I would always refer to all of you, we are at a pivotal period here in our province and in Edmonton. I have always said to you that there is so much that we can accomplish together as one people, and indeed we are one people. But all of those things that we can accomplish can only happen if we come together as one people and take advantage of the opportunities that lie ahead of us and in this city, our capital city. And for the good of all of us, our families, but more importantly, our children, whom many of you know, this is their home. And they are going to be competing with their friends and neighbors across this city, this province, and this country. What then must we do to ensure a brighter, future for them. It starts with us. It starts by us coming together as one people to ensure that we have one of the most, one of the strongest community-led organization in this city. Brothers and sisters, there is no reason why we can't do this. I have had the greatest honor of my life of traveling across our country, our province. I've met so many ethno-cultural communities who have gone on to do great and amazing things for themselves, for their people, their children, and their community. There is no reason why the members of the Nigerian community in our capital city, and I want to emphasize that Edmonton is our capital city, and we have the privilege to live in our capital city. There's no reason why we cannot come together to found the, most, the strongest or one of the strongest community-led organizations for the interest, for the vital interest and benefit of fellow Nigerians in this city. So, the Nigerian Leadership Congress is inviting you, our leaders, to a special conference to discuss the future of our people here in Edmonton on October the 14th. I do want to urge you to make sure that you reserve that date and time and place in your calendar. It will be a day that we will make history to finally say to ourselves, we are one people, we are brothers and sisters. So, if you come from any of the ethnic communities that make up our country, if you are one of their leaders, you can afford not to be there. I promise you that as your brother, I am going to do everything I can within my own power to make sure that we are successful in this city, in this province, and in this country. So, fellow Nigerians, I look forward uh, to seeing you on the 14th. A lot of people have stepped forward to make this happen. We, there's a special committee that's overseeing this organization and the Congress. I want to especially thank them for their leadership, for stepping forward, for their sacrifices, for the good of our community. It now behoves of us to make sure that their effort, leadership, and sacrifice is not in vain. So, 
Again, your brother here, Casey Madu, I look forward to seeing you at the first ever Nigerian Leadership Congress on October the 14th. Thank you so much. Uh, may God continue to bless you, bless our people, bless our city, and bless our province. Thank you so much and God bless.